Hello, welcome to MD Academy. In this video, I will show you how to align files using different CAD tools. I will focus mostly on the practical aspect of translation alignment, but first I will very briefly explain what translation alignment really is. Then I will show you how to align files in MemoQ and in SDL Trado Studio. Let's start from the beginning. Translation memory is a database in every CAD tool that stores our previously translated text and suggests possible translations while you are working on a new file. Translation memory is built and updated on the go while you are translating in CAD tool. However, it's also possible to create a new translation memory from the already translated files. And for that, we need translation alignment. Translation alignment creates a translation memory from the already translated files, which in practice means that the alignment tool, or simply a CAD tool, will compare source file and its translation, match the corresponding segments, and import alignment results into translation memory. Now we will see how to align files using CAD tool. We will start with MemoQ. To align files in MemoQ, we need to create a new translation project. We're naming our project and setting a language pair. Let it be Polish to English. As we are only doing alignment, we don't need to import any source file. So we can just skip this part and click on Next. Now, we need to create our new translation memory. Of course, you can use already existing translation memory, but we will set a new one. We click on Create Use New and name our translation memory. As you can see, the language pair was updated automatically. We click OK and then Finish. Our alignment project is ready, so we can move to the Live Doc section to create our new translation corpus. To do that, we click on Create Use New and name our corpus. When it's done, we can import our files for alignment. We do that by clicking on Add Alignment Pairs. We import source file and target file. As you can see, the files were automatically connected. Of course, you can import more than one alignment pair at once, but then you need to check if all files were connected correctly. We click on OK. And in the lower panel, we can see that our alignment pair was imported successfully. Now we need to check if all segments were matched correctly. To do that, we click on View Edit. Now we can see how the segments were matched. We need to check the whole file to make sure that the matches are correct before exporting alignment results to our translation memory. By doing a right click, we can split segments or join them, create a new link or remove it. We can also edit the content of each segment. We are doing all of this to make sure that the source segment and its translation are matched correctly. We are checking the whole file like this, and when we are done, we confirm all auto links. All lines are now blue, which means that they have been checked and confirmed by the translator. Then we can mark alignment as finished. 
and then we can export the alignment results into our translation memory. Our translation memory is ready to use. If we want to use it in a different cut, we need to go back to the project home view. We choose translation memories from the left hand panel, click on our TM and then choose export from the upper panel. Now let us move to SDL Trado Studio. In Trados, we don't need to create a new translation project to align files. On the home page, we choose Align Documents and then Align Single File Pair. First, we need to create a new translation memory. We choose Create and then New File Based Translation Memory. We are naming our translation memory and setting the language pair. Let it be English to Polish this time. We click on Finish and then Close. Now we can import our files for alignment. In Trados, it's best to import them as PDF files. After that, we click on Finish. We get a similar view as in MemoQ. The files were divided into segments and we can now see how the segments were matched. By doing a right click, we can disconnect segments and when they are disconnected, we can, for example, split them. To connect these segments again, we click on Realign. In Trados, it's also possible to add segments before or after to insert a missing translation. We are checking the whole file to make sure that all segments are matched correctly and then we choose Confirm All. After that, we can import our alignment results into our translation memory. Our translation memory is ready to use. If we want to use it in a different cut, we need to find a file containing all translation memories from Trados in our computer. Our translation memory will be located in this file. Some cats may not accept translation memories in Trados format. Then we need to export TMX file. It's very simple to do so. We choose translation memories from the home view and we choose our translation memory from the list. Now we can see all entries in our translation memory. To export TMX file, we click on Export and we choose where we want to save our file. And we are naming our translation memory again. We click on Finish and then Close. And that's all. Translation memory saved in this format can be imported into any CAD tool. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next video about CAD tools.